Good morning from Rio. I'm Vahe Gregorian of the Kansas City Star. Alongside is McClatchy teammate Linda Robertson of the Miami Herald. We are in our hotel, uh, and you can see the beautiful backdrop here. Uh, we've just kind of basically gotten here in the last day or two and gathering our wits. And from what we can tell, um, it's as ready as it's going to be. And we don't really know what that means, though. Um, Linda, do you have any uh, sort of first impressions of, of what uh, tomorrow will mean in terms of opening ceremonies and being ready to turn the page on actually starting this thing? I think there'll be a lot of relief that the games are finally going to start. They'll probably have just a stupendous opening ceremony, and everyone can tr try to get off on the right foot after so many crises preceding these games. Uh, just an unprecedented number of problems that have plagued Rio from the, you know, the economy, the recession, the impeachment of President uh, Dilma Rousseff, and um, increasing crime, problems with pollution in, in the uh, waters where the athletes will be competing. So I think everyone would just really like the party to begin and um, hear some beautiful samba music and get it going. <laughs> One of the things we've both experienced, Linda and I have been in a number of Olympics together actually, is that, that pre-Olympic sphere of, of many things. Most of the time it has worked out. As Linda just addressed, there, there seem to be exponentially more things that we've been worried about this time around. The thing I'm actually most worried about, and it's completely a, a, a selfish matter, is transportation. How are we going to be able to do our jobs? So far, it appears that the Olympic bus lanes are working for uh, our, our little media buses. Um, what, what's the most on your mind in terms of just your ability to do your job here? I would say for the media, logistics will be key because, uh, honestly, I've never seen traffic. Like, I've, I've been here for <laughs> a week, and not all the time in Rio, but um, if you have to be in a car and not in one of the dedicated Olympic lanes, it's just bumper to bumper all the time. So I think that's a concern. Um, but everyone's been really friendly, and I haven't, I haven't gotten a single mosquito bite. Um, the food is great, and I think everyone's trying really hard to make this a success. I, I've had the same experience, and I think we've been feeling like um, pretty safe as we've walked around, too. I think it, that the image of what could happen has sort of become the overriding image instead of what what really is realistic when you are walking around the streets of Rio. It, I obviously, you want to be aware of your surroundings, but um, I've been very comfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you have been. And uh, we're at about our limit here. We like to talk, but we'll uh, cut ourselves off and look forward to doing this again here shortly. Thanks for joining us, and please follow us uh, at KansasCity.com, at is it Miami.com? MiamiHerald.com. Miami Miami and, uh, and enjoy all your McClatchy products.